hello again. So I've, I haven't had uh, been a bit sick this week. Uh, I was uh, hoping to clean up some of my code for Real ISRU for you know my Mars project, but I've been doing a little bit of um, kind of review and testing of things uh, graphically for Real Solar System in the last couple of days, and so I'm testing out a combination of a whole ton of things. Uh, one is uh, Kill Ashley is doing some work to improve the appearance of the real solar system planets and he's, he's got a lot of skills and tricks that uh, I, you know, I certainly didn't know and I'm sure a couple of the other key uh, RSS contributors don't know but so he's doing, done a lot of interesting things but I'm also fiddling with the most recent scatterer and, sh and oh, so, sorry, the mod maker <laughs> uh, has come up with some cool tricks which, uh, black rack, thank you Sorry, brain fart. Um, came up with some tricks that will allow his new lens flares to work in real solar systems. So I'm trying to f configure things for that. Um, the lens flare and the, the sun flare itself. Uh, and I just wanted, you know, I was going to record some of this anyway, just so for I can do future comparison. Um, just it started in, in orbit here, just waiting for sunrise because it's one of the effects that I notice is a, is a, is way different in how it's done in Scatter versus how it was done with uh, the tool in Eve or um, uh, in RVE. So in those tools, as you approach sunrise and shortly after sunrise, oh sorry here, let me brighten this up. Oh no, that is the brighter version. Okay, here just a little more. All right. So as you approach sunrise here, you know you can see it's brighter right in front of me where the sun will be, uh, but you don't quite get this the bulging of colors that you would see in RVE. And uh, doing some sunrise ascents, I was noticing that um, Scatter is capable of those. It seems either it's just not configured to either I've got the settings terrible, uh, which is absolutely a possibility because I'm not good at graphical things at all. Uh, but I do like fiddling and uh, working with the prototype versions of things because then I can at least kind of you know get a hack job, start job, so actual RD people can uh, get the settings nice. Um, but I notice there's no real uh, bulge of the lights here, of the colors here, like you'd see in RVE, uh, Eve, or a previous tool. See, the colors are starting to vary here, and I wonder if that might just be because my settings just aren't. Maybe I'm not seeing the bulge that I'm hoping for in the uh, and you know where it would become larger in the front here and there we go and you can see so right there at sunrise bam right the sun starts so notice um, it, it didn't kind of phase in and I'll do a quick uh, sunrise launch because uh, sunrise and sunset launches are the best like unfortunately you, not every launch can be a sunrise or sunset launch but right after it crossed the edge there it boom went into full sun flare uh, lens flare, everything, right? Just the full. Now I wish that would fade in just a little bit at the edge, even though it doesn't take much time, even if it was exaggerated a bit, how it fades between the little basic sphere and this. Um, just little things that would make it a little more like RVE, but like some of the things I did like out of that. Um, so as you see, you can see I've got these, the flare and the sun kind of scaled here. Now one thing I absolutely need to tweak with and anybody else can figure it out, be, be my guest, I'll post my configs, uh, maybe not right when I post this video, but shortly after. Uh, so notice when the sun's at the edge there, it's a you know, smaller circle. I would like it a little larger, but I need to figure out exactly which setting that is. And then as you move it right in front of you, it really grows. Uh, it almost feels like it's a logarithmic scale, because here it doesn't feel like I'm getting much growth. And then I move it right in front of me, and there. So I don't have RVE installed. I am just fiddling with uh, Kill Ashley's new RSS um, Earth. Uh, set up and the new scatter, which Blackrack um, made some changes in the most recent uh, version. Thanks, Thason, for giving him actual information and logs when I was too sick to and lazy to <laughs> give him real info. But I, I really do love how scatter kind of fades the colors at the edge here. But um, right in front of you, I kind of wish the colors would bulge out and there would be a bit of time lag as the as a crest of the horizon between the you know the smaller version of the sun and the big one. And you'll see. Uh, what I mean when I do uh, a, uh, a dawn launch. So I'm hoping to time this because um, in new RSS we've, um, we've got some uh, new atmosphere data calculated so the point at which we kill the, uh, the atmosphere it ends at um, 140 kilometers. Here let me just turn this back down a little bit how I had it before. 
So you can go between two settings by middle clicking. Ambient Light Adjust, very awesome tool for YouTube and for play. Um, so I'm hoping that, so 140 is where the atmosphere will start. And one, so these are the Andes, by the way, I think, I guess the name anyway, this large mountain chain, maybe it's not called the Andes up there. I'm definitely ignorant of my South American geography. Uh, so 140 atmosphere kicks in and 100 kilometers uh, is when the PQS scale space transition happens. So the same kind of um, hackish thing I set up before and uh, you know, people seem to uh, make good use of it uh, where you just jump right from PQS to scaled space. So Kill, Kill Ashley made things look a lot better if you don't do that. Still, Scatter does, um, it's not Scatter's fault, uh, it's just some effect when the PQS scaled space, uh, basically in space versus ground, um, transition occurs, everything fades to an unusual white. And that's not what you're seeing here, the scatter actually starting to kick in as you approach the ground. Ooh, don't have any idea what that is. I wonder if that's an Easter egg or something. No clue, or a glitch. Anyway, uh, so yeah, sc uh, scatter has this these new features, so I'm hoping... Uh, so you'll see what this what the transition currently looks like as we cross the 100 kilometers. Um, I, I probably have these these effects tuned a little cartoonically uh, or cartoonily because uh, I was trying to get that effect while in space. But it seems like a lot of these settings only really take effect when you're in um, this towards the ground PQS mode. Um, but I don't know. Maybe it's actually just the way I've got these set up. Like maybe it's just the difference between these two values that's the big difference. Maybe. I, I took some pictures with some notes so I can you know, try to figure out really what the difference is, but obviously other people actually understand what's going on there or are just more creative and experimental than me. So if you come up with a neat way to make during sunrise it look a bit more like this where the light bulges out and of course it would be more color during sunrise, please share those settings, you know, the forum or on YouTube or anywhere. It'd be awesome to see that. And even if it's just for, uh, for stock, uh, if you... If you uh, just seeing that function might be enough that me or somebody else can figure it out for a uh, real solar system. So you can see the sun still does that. When I move that towards that being right in front of me versus away, the sun grows and shrinks. And there you saw the rough transition between scaled, pace, uh, scaled space and PQS. But the alternative is also a bit rough where it kind of gets white and faded between the two. Um, I'm noticing a little more weird atmosphere edge here, but I think that might just be because I don't have the um, let's see, I don't have the exposures tuned to be the same. Meh, that didn't fix it, but whatever. Uh, sun rim orbit exposure 15, 15, 15, let's say. No, eh, whatever. It's just another trick that needs to be figured out, but no no worry. Right now I've got, I'm in um, OpenGL and maybe that won't occur in DX9 because you know, hopefully soon enough we'll all be on 1.1 anyway. So we're approaching the ground. We're below that, that transition. Um, so yeah, I feel like things are a lot more colorful. You can actually start to see the, uh, the height. Um, just some of the changes you can see in the, uh, uh, that Kill Ashley made to the real solar system, uh, Earth. And he made changes to other planets. Mars looks fantastically better. Um, I'll, you know, you'll see it in my Mars videos. There's actual dunes. Uh, you can actually see the ground as you're approaching it. Uh, it's yeah, everything I was kind of hoping to be able to make, and thankfully somebody who actually already knew Copernicus uh, started doing that. So anyway, as we approach the ground here, you can see it's got texture. It's just, it, I feel like it, it looks a lot better. You know, it still needs some tweaking maybe. In some spots, the colors might be a little extreme or cartoonish, but whatever. You know, it's part of the process of making it better, and I think it's astoundingly better than it was before. So. Uh, now I'm just going to do a quick, basically redo that launch from the beginning, uh, from, I think it's before sunrise, technically, on the ground, where I, when I started it. Come on, load. I need to set up a new, fresh install. I've been kind of trying to reduce the uh, part counter, like the mod requirement, so I can make a test, kind of a prototype test craft for real ISRU for my new life support modules, and so I've just been doing that all in this install. Let me see, yeah, okay, I do have the light on here. So I'll just kind of do a quick launch, just threw this together as a 
basic real solar system test. So you can see it's just shortly before sunrise by the colors on the edge there. Now I'll try to take a steep ascent um, because it's really when you're in the atmosphere 60 kilometers to you know, 120 kilometers, something in that range where it looks the way I kind of wish it did from orbit. And again, I just don't know if I've got... I, it's not possible in the engine, something between PQS and scaled space of scatter, um, or if I just haven't set up my uh, scatter settings right to get those effects. But sunrise looks uh, really good during launch. Just when during sunrise and sunset from orbit, that that uh, same gradual, even over a few seconds transition, just doesn't seem to occur, which I think is a shame because it could look. It looks amazing, but it could look a lot better uh, in that specific instance. Whereas from the ground and during launches, during near sunrise and sunset, there we go. So we're just going to start the sunrise here. Uh, let's see how it looks. Okay. <clears throat> so see, for already a couple of seconds, you see just a little bit of sun edging. Now look, I really like this effect. I'm curious how he got it to kick in. So the sun flare is is you know started at red and is ramping up oh i really overshot my altitude really overshot it oh well it was just not as good as the one i saw myself unfortunately but see you can see it it fades in as the sun comes up oh and of course everything goes crazy when we go through so i think that is because of the the difference between um pqs and scaled space but if only he could make that uh black rack could make that that effect we were seeing before that transition occur um, in scale space as well, I think that would be absolutely amazing because you could really see what was going on with the uh, you know the colors varying, heights varying, and the phase in of that uh, of the sun flare and the camera flare, whatever you know whatever they're called in the file they're called ghosts, but whatever. Um, yeah, last time I did a, a more steep ascent, so you could uh, tell a lot more. Like it does, like the colors, color transition is just great. Uh, it is really good. Just I'd expect there to be a bit more of um, a bulge of the sunlight colors at the edge there. And you can definitely see it during launch. You know what, I'm, I've still got a couple minutes here. Let me try, try to come in low again, because I don't need to get into orbit. I'm just trying to show off what the, uh, how the atmosphere change looks as you go up. I'm gonna give it another quick shot. Okay. It's weird. I'm not sure, quite sure what happens, but when I do a, a quick load or something like that, I get these weird. Uh, it's like a saved frame from some previous time. Don't know if that's specific to a glitch I have or specific to uh, the OpenGL install, but it's interesting. So yeah, Kill Ashley is working on New Earth and uh, other planet kind of tweaks and textures, and uh, it's looking really good already. And he's kind of optimized it without scatter, which is totally fair. You know, scatter only kind of recently started to become the norm, um, but you know, it's for good reason. A lot of people are starting to use it, so we're trying to make it look as good as we can in real solar system with scatter and RVE. Mm -hmm. I'm arcing down way too quick, but whatever. Even if the craft looks like it's in flames as I go, I just want to illustrate what sunrise looks like um, as you ascend through the atmosphere in the, um, the kind of closer to the ground peak US rendering. Oh yeah. Oh god. What is my dynamic pressure? Okay. So I can't arc too much of pitch because this is a high number that's just getting higher. Oh boy. Let's see if I've got a chance. Oh wow. So clearly I don't have things here before uh, anything bad happens. Again, I am just testing. Come on, dynamic pressure. Reduce. Oh man leveling off it. What, what is this? This is about the, you know, 10 kilometers or whatever. That's about the altitude of uh, a, of an airplane, a jet. And I'm going, what, Mach 3 now, roughly. 
Oh, and my dynamic pressure is still increasing, but time to AP is increasing. So this will actually be a pretty good um, like representation of uh, what we uh, want to see, because we're pretty deep in the atmosphere when we're going to be um, kind of starting that sunrise. <laughs> wow, uh, never quite cut it this close. But somehow, somehow the front isn't overheating. That doesn't make any sense to me. 23 seconds. <laughs> Jeez. I wonder if I should give myself infinite fuel as well so I don't lose this uh, decent uh, thrust weight ratio, which might be the only thing keeping me alive. Oh, the uh, dynamic pressure is starting to fall off now. <laughs> oh, fuck. All right. Hmm. Well, we're slowing down, so we may as well cheat because we can prograde so it definitely broke apart there hmm okay we're heading down now so let's give myself a boost up <laughs> yep these are the um, pro tips of a tester of things oh wow the atmosphere really took the speed off of us. Oh man. So let's see, um, prograde up. Prograde is mostly up now. Anyway, unfortunately I didn't do a good test that time either. It's gonna, well, oh, <laughs> anyway, so you could see the, the substantial difference in kind of the fade in here where it fades through colors and the sun flare fades. And all of that seems to go pretty well before eh, heading straight up. Now you'll see you'll quick you right away you'll see the PQS to scaled space transition and boom, uh, quickly everything faded over. Uh, so I set that to happen really quick because that's kind of what we want for RVE, so we don't get a crazy fade over. Um, but uh, with the, the settings that Kill Ashley is using now, that they they do look really good uh, with just scatter or without scatter. I'm also trying to optimize it for with RVE. Uh, so anyway, you know, thanks for watching the video. I'll post my configs for this. If you make any improvements to them, by all means, share them on the forum or here. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye.